Grand Rise. It's incremental science 27. Yesterday we spoke about the shadow, right? So I had to specify on the shadow and the fact that you're a Jew. So it happens in replication constantly, constantly, constantly. But the larger versions of these processes is something that we can't see. So if I'm looking at the sun and I know the sun is being pulled by a shadow or a black hole, you know what I'm saying? That is the resonant energy that replicates behind each other. So the shadow is the, rep the representation of what happens to you. So that's the feminine energy in an aspect. So here you are, because that's the, that'll be that'll be the counterpart energy. That's your counterpart. So you have the counterpart representation is your shadow. So the shadow comes behind the reflection. So you're refracting the same energy. Why does it why does it reflect refract through you as a shadow? Because it's the remnants of the leftover light. Light can be dark as well. So this is the unseen and seen at the same time. This is also if it's male, then it's the opposite. You know what I'm saying? It's just counterpart. It doesn't matter. Whoever's reflecting the light, that really does not matter. It's just the one that sits in that motion. So what's sitting in that motion, it replicates the ideal through existence, through infinity, forever. So this is why the black, the black hole or the womb ends up being fem energy. Because the insert, you know, if, if, if and it's, it's more physical than you, than you know, if you're looking at a plug, you have the male part, you have the female part, you know what I'm saying? You have the part that extends and you have the part that receives, you know what I'm saying? So the, the black hole receives the remnant energy of the, of the light behind. This is why we have a shadow behind us. So it's receiving the remnant energy, the, 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 whatever's left over that we don't get is getting the rest of that in the shadow. So as that happens, what we can't see the unseen is that it's creating a whole nother black hole behind the shadow. That's molecule. That's that's minuscule. You can't see that. So while that's taking place, it's creating a whole nother universe as such there. But you can't see that. That's the unseen. That's the seen and the unseen. We're in the middle of this process as we see. That's why they say as above, so below. As I can look at the universe and I see that behind my shadow is the same thing. Behind my shadow is the same thing. What's the difference? The difference is when you don't know this, you are still looking at the light source, right? When you understand this connection of wisdom, you turn your back. You're not turning your back to the light source. You're just now refracting out that light this way because you've been absorbing it this way for so long. So now you're going to absorb it from the back and now you're facing your shadow because the light is hitting you in the back. Now you're facing your shadow. What do you become now? You become the God of your universe. Because you know this is all knowing. So how well can you focus into your own darkness? See, now you're looking into your shadow. It's about to get real deep. So now, see, this conversation is conversation that people really can't get through. Most people think when they meditate, they're tapping into something. But they tell you when you meditate, you go into a universe. I'm telling you actual direction from connection. The light source. You see the light hitting on the back of me. And representation to the value. The sun is constantly doing this. It constantly, it constantly comes down and it, it hits this way. You can even see it in the universe how it shines down on everything. But everything creates a shadow. Even planets create a shadow. They create a shadow. That's the leftover energy. We're not looking at everything. We're not looking at everything in a nutshell. And that's the most important thing when it comes to understanding the value. The sun behind like the sun. So it's like as above, so below. The refract body, the refract body, it constantly, the sun is a level of refraction body because it keeps constantly putting. That's why we become created as light sources. So now it has to grow. This is individual. What happens when the solar system blows up? Supernova. Boom. What happens? It creates more suns. Why does it create more suns? <laughs> because it exploded. Why did it explode? Why does, why does things explode? Not for the same reason that we look at explosions. It don't explode in the universe like that. Like It's not saying, oh, it's a malfunction or somebody put too much gas in there and it blew up. That's not why they're saying it exploded. Why explode it? It exploded because it had too much in it. That's the only way. That's natu na Nature, natural ways of explosion only happens when it, it gets filled up. So if I'm pouring water in a cup, eventually it's going to overflow. So it, it was getting so much universal energy, they said, boom. It popped. And when it popped, it shot out even farther. Yeah, it gets deep. And then we talking about, how, well, how did the suns, well, where did the suns come from? You was already on the earth. That, that same energy that was coming into you 
large in your solar plex. It made your solar plex so bright that when you was released from the energy and the gravity of the earth, you went out into existence. Boom. Solar energy. Solar energy. I'm going to do another build later. It's going to be crazy because <laughs> we're about to get real deep. We're going to talk about death. We're going to talk about shadows. We're going to talk about why people do certain things and don't understand why they're drawn to doing certain things. We're about to talk about demons. Yeah, we're about to get into it. I, I had to write it down last night. We ain't going to talk about demons like that, but I'm going to tell you what they don't want y'all to know and what's real. You know what I'm saying? So don't let me jump on that right now. Let me stay on incremental 27. So understanding understanding the value of how things starting to work in the aspect because it's not actually the representation of a man or a woman this is the this is the representation of an in and the out you know what i'm saying the any and the outy the reason why one goes in and you know what i'm saying one comes out it's like because light shines so light it had to be it had to be male because it shines this way it extends you see what i'm saying light extends the black hole receives so this is why it's femme and male. It had nothing to do with the actuality. We got lost in the physicality of that understanding, like the physical attributes, like the fact that you have something that extends to stick in. You see what I'm saying? That's that's the physical understanding of the feminine and, and the male properties. But when universe does this, it shows you in that retrospect. So what happens? See, it's about to, it's about to go somewhere, yo, because it's like, but well, we can create shadows too. Yes, you can create a shadow. You know what I'm saying? Females can create shadows, but you also create life. You see what I'm saying? You create life, so your shadow changes. And your shadow changes by the essence of another energy. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when your shadow gets wider because you're creating life, it's actually a different light source. It's like you become the whole, the black hole itself. You are the shadow at that, at that point because you are you have a baby inside of you that's actually pulling in life from you. You see what I'm saying? So you create the value of what creates black holes. Your energy itself just does that. Even though you create a shadow, and it's because you are the shadow. You see what I'm saying? You are the counterpart. This is why women can merge to a, a man. This is like you can see everything that the man is not. You see what I'm saying? It's supposed to be like that. This is how you accentuate the value of a man, by seeing everything that he's not. You see what I'm saying? So you be able to accentuate the value of what he is by loving the parts that he is because you can fill in the spaces that he's not. That's counterpart energy. You see what I'm saying? But we miss this value when it comes to the reality of the femme and, 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 the, um, and the male counterpart or the understanding of these processes universally and physically. So getting mixed up, getting mixed up in this in this potential understanding has an individual loss. Most people lost to the fact of the value. You see what I'm saying? So then what are you fighting for? You're fighting from that tether of connection that 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 that's supposed to or did connect in electricity. So when you take it off, the lights go out. You know what I'm saying? It's a false affair. So it's just like every time a connection happens with an individual, you feel the loss because it was electricity. Not because and, and that that's what pulls a value. That's what pulls a value. So it's it's the reason. It's the reason. So because I can get light and refract light, it's the reason that I'm I'm light. You see what I'm saying? So a man will never change that image. I'll never change my shadow besides getting getting taller or, or or older. Like my shadow will never like have a life inside of me that can pull life in. You see what I'm saying? So no, I just create the universal value that has to let a seed go off. See, I'm the sun. See how my light goes into the darkness and comes back out through the womb as a sun. You see what I'm saying? This is why that pretense speaks to that value. It gets real deep, yo. So we have to understand that the seen and the unseen is the value of the black hole that's happening behind the behind the um the shadow that creates off us, and it's it's the as above so below pretense that happens through eternity that constantly goes through us like this. So it's the forty five degree angle that they want you to know. It's the forty five degree angle that they want you to know. You see, what I'm saying from me being like this and then the flat because the shadow lays flat, so it's the same. It's like I'm the light and the refract, the forty five degree angle. You know, what I'm saying it's the up and the down. I ain't gonna hold y'all, but we're gonna keep this, we gonna keep this going. You already know the vibes. Naga.